Greetings from the Bell Center in beautiful Montreal, Quebec. Tonight, the Montreal Canadiens look for further success as they defend their home ice against the Toronto Maple Leafs. Bill Peterson and Mike Weiss bringing you complete play-by-play -play and color commentary. It's always tough when you're battling a team that has so much history like the Habs. The Maple Leafs know the situation, and this should be a war. The Toronto Maple Leafs are one of the most famous teams in hockey history and strive for excellence year after year. This year should be no exception as the Leafs should be around the top of the standings again. Let's face it, folks. The Maple Leafs have been around for a long time and know what it takes to become Stanley Cup champions. The Maple Leafs have been doing really well in the past few games. I hope they can keep their winning streak alive. Canadians have a winning record over the past 10 games. Let's see if they can keep winning. Banner after banner after banner hang high in the Bell Center to remind the Montreal Canadiens what they are questing for year after year. The coveted Stanley Cup. Nothing less will do in Montreal than hoisting the Stanley Cup one more time. McGillney's game is an easy equation to figure out. McGillney plus puck equals goals. And just when you think he can't score anymore, he shows you that he can. Even though he's just scratching at his natural ability to play the game, Zednik has impressed the league with his speed and ability to stay low to the ice to avoid losing the puck. drop of the puck. Sundin carries it past the red line. Mo Gilney brings it past the blue line. Sent back over to Caberlet. Roberts makes a long pass to Mo Gilney. That's an easy save for him. Petro brings it over the red line. Centering pass to Koivu. Mo Gilney moves it back to Caberlet. Passes it to the right wing. Zednik sends it back over to Travers. King Tom brings the puck through the zone. He passes it off over to Zednik. Vela passes it to the right wing. Caberlet brings the puck up to the zone. Hoagland sends it back to the defenseman. Checked hard by McKay. McCauley sends it to the left wing. Hoagland sends it over to the right wing. Markov passes it over to Perrault. Brings it past the red line. Brings it over the blue line. 
McKay passes over to Renberg. Carries it over the red line. Breeze Bois slides it over to Dackel. Brings the puck up. He passes it over to Gilmore. And he takes a wrist shot. He takes a snapshot. That is the kind of save that will set the tone for his team for the rest of the game. Tucker carries it past the blue line. Gets it over to the left wing. Bone crushing hit by Carson. Lume moves it back over the B-lock. Kelger carries it over the blue line. Sends it back to the defenseman. Green takes the puck up. Corson plays it up to the center. Lume sends it back to Bila. Corson passes to the defenseman. Surek passes over to Juno. Carries it past the red line. Lume moves it back over to Bilak. Reichel takes it past the red line. Brings it past the blue line. Brisebois passes it over to the left wing. Bullis brings it over the red line. He passes it to Juno. Berg sends it over to Sundin. Brings it past the red line. Takes it past the blue line. Moves it back to Roberts. Fastest glove in the league. Theodore is so quick with the glove that it makes it tough to score on him. Take it away, Mike. Theodore reaches the glove out and makes the save. This area of the game is a big advantage for a Maple Leafs. McKay moves it over to Odette. Brings it over the blue line. Sundin sends it off over to Mogilny. He sends it up to center. Sundin carries it over the red line. Roberts passes it to the right wing. Mogilny sends it up to the center. And he takes a wrist shot. Boy, he makes the hard saves look easy. Penalty on the Montreal Canadiens. And it looks like they're going to get a power play opportunity off of this one, Bill. Face off to the left of Theodore. Montreal penalty to number 20, Richard Zednik. Two minutes for tripping. Time of the penalty, seven Quaver minutes. Sends it back to Surrey. Seconds. McCauley makes a long pass to Renberg. Dropped at center ice just like a puck. McCauley carries it over the blue line. Koivu takes the puck up through the zone. Passes it to Corson. And he takes the snapshot. That was a huge save by Theodore. McKay sends it up over to Renberg. Carries it past the red line. He plays it back over to Corson. 
Have you ever wanted to do a professional sports cast? Well, here's your chance. Check out the ESPN cam behind Section 23. Whether it's in the offensive or defensive zone, winning important faceoffs is a specialty for the Maple Leafs. Caberlet makes a long pass to Mogilny. Passes it to Sundin. Penalty over. Brisebois sends it to Gilmore. Domi sends it to the left wing. Svela plays it up to the center. Reichel sends it up to the center. Domi carries it past the blue line. Just dropped him. That's going to get him a penalty for roughing. And we got a power play coming up here, Bill. Oh, I'm sure that wasn't in the coach's game plan. to the right of Theodore. Montreal penalty to number 25, Chad Kilger. Two minutes for roughing. Time of the penalty, 11 minutes, four seconds. Tonight, there's been some good, solid defense by Sundin. Sundin plays an aggressive style of hockey. By being aggressive, he can create scoring chances for his team. Sundin passes it over to the left wing. He takes the slap shot. What a save by Theodore. Mike receives some nice defensive play by Koivu. Koivu can single-handedly change the flow of a game. The aggressive isn't always bad. Off the right of Theodore. Svela passes it over to Roberts, brings it over the red line. He passes it back over to Mogilny. And he's checked by Sure. Svela makes a long pass to Roberts. Mogilny takes it past the red line. Passes over to Sundin. Roberts sends it over to the right wing. He slides it to Mogilny. The penalty has now expired. Passes over to the left wing. Roberts passes it to the right wing. Sent back behind the net to Sundin.
Koifu sends it to his defenseman. McKay brings the puck up through the zone. Bila makes a long pass to Tucker. And he takes a wrist shot. Markov passes it off over to Juno. He sends the puck back to Bullis. He takes the backhand shot. Save made by Belfour. Tchaikovsky sends it to the left wing. Domi brings the puck through the zone. And he gets called for offside. Bullets just gets robbed by Belfort. Winning faceoffs is a strong point for the Canadians. Gilmore passes it over to Markov. Rive sends it over to the right wing. Dackel brings it past the blue line. <laughs> Belfort was impressive with the last play on the with an amazing 58, Ed Belfer ranks in the all-time top 15 netminders for shutouts. Face-offs are one of the little details that is done very well by the Canadians. Koiva passes to the defenseman. Belfort looked good on that last save point. During the Dallas Stars' 1999 Stanley Cup run, Belfort had 16 wins and 7 losses. Controlling the pace of the game by winning faceoffs is a strong point for the Canadians. He sends it over to Petrov. Lume moves it back to Bilak. Over to the right wing. Zednik passes it over to Koivu. And the goalie covers up to stop play. Whether it's in the offensive or defensive zone, winning important faceoffs is a specialty for the Canadians. Sends it back over to McCabe. Tucker plays it up to the center. Green takes it past the blue line. He passes it up the center. Tucker moves it back to Corson.
Gray passes it over to the left wing. He sends it back to Berg. He passes it to the left wing. Corson slides it over to Tucker. He's going to be called for tripping. Well, that penalty's going to put them on the power play. Off to the left of Theodore. Montreal penalty to number 94. Sundin yeah, passes over to McGilney. Two minutes for tripping. Time of the penalty 18 minutes, 7 seconds. Caberlet passes it to the right wing. Brings it past the red line. Roberts brings it over the blue line. Great check One behind minute. the net One by Sundin. That was a hard hit by Breezeball. He takes a snapshot. He comes up big on the penalty kill. Sandin delivers a strong message about coming into his area of the ice. Sandin tends to be a little over aggressive sometimes, but that can lead to many scoring opportunities. This face-off is to the right of the goalkeeper. Caberlet sends it to the left wing. Mo Gilman carries it over the red line. Sundin passes over to Roberts. Stalemate as we take a break from the action. It's all tied up at zero. We played one, Mike. Your thoughts? The Canadians are keeping themselves in the game by killing off penalties. The Maple Leafs are out shooting them, but are unable to take the lead. Let's go down to the ice for the drop of the puck. The man advantage situation is over. Caberlet sends it up to the center. Carries it over the blue line. And he takes a wrist shot. As usual, this guy is trying to put his whole body into defense tonight. Brice Bois leads his team in hits with 98.
by Belfour. Hoagland brings the puck up. Audette sends it back over to Sure. McKay moves it back over to Berg. Brisebois sends it over to the right wing. Perot carries it past the red line. Caberle sends it to McCauley. Brings it over the red line. Carries it past the blue line. He passes it to the right wing. Renberg sends it back over to Svela. Quintal moves it to Traverse. Petra sends it off to Zednik. He sends it to Koivu. Mogilny sends it up to Svela. We're going to see a hooking penalty called on. Sandini. The upcoming power play could change the outlook of this game, Bill. Gilney leads his team in face-off percentage. Toronto penalty to number 13. That's McKay takes it past the red line. Two minutes for hooking. Time of the penalty, two minutes, 59 seconds. Team Tom plays it up to the center. Perot makes a long pass to Audette. Markov sends it to McKay. He passes it over to Audette. Markov passes it to the right wing. Carries it over the red line. Theodore sends it in front of the net. McKay takes the puck up. The man advantage situation is over. Sure passes it over to Gilmore. Green sends it over to the right wing. Brisebois passes it off to Dackel. The whistle blows for offside. Belfort was impressive in the last play, how much? Eddie Belfort has had two seasons with a goals against average below two. One was the 1999 Stanley Cup championship season. This area of the game is a big advantage for the Canadians. <laughs> Juno sends it up to the center. He passes back to the defenseman. Brisebois passes it to Tchaikovsky. Pass to Juno. Antropov slides it to Lume. Domi passes it to Reichel. Brings it past the blue line. Lume passes over to McCauley. Koivu passes to Petrov. Brings it past the red line. Takes it past the blue line. Over to the right wing. Keeping the momentum going for the season. A call from the Montreal Canadiens. Well, it seems like forever since we 
we've seen these guys score. But what a great time to break out of the score. A short fist by Kaibu. Corson brings Ole it over the red line. Kelger sends it to tackle. Sheldon brings it over the blue Sorry. line. Time of goal. Sent back Seven. to Gilmore. Minutes, 13 that was a seconds. great stop by Belfour. The Canadians are an older team, but they've got what a lot of teams don't have. Leadership and experience. Macaulay plays it up to the center. Hoagland carries it over the red line. Zednik moves it over to Koivu. The Price stops, stops as he covers the puck. Tickets for the next home game are still available. Call 555-GOLD for your tickets. Sundin moves it back over to Caberlet. Please help keep your arena clean. When you leave today, please put your garbage in the bins located just outside your Belfort section. logged a nice Thank save there, Mike. Eddie Belfort's got a real temper, folks, and he has trouble keeping it under control. He's been able to handle the pressure in the past, but it looks like it may be finally getting to Belfort. More days off would really help his mental stability. Sends it off over to Tchaikovsky. Bulis sends it up over to Rive. Roberts carries it over the blue line. Off the skate. He moves it to Mogilny. Juno takes the puck up through the zone. Bulis sends it to Tchaikovsky. Carries it past the blue line. Sundin brings the puck up through the zone. Brings it past the blue line. And he takes a wrist shot. Saved by Theodore. Travers passes it over to Tchaikovsky. Berg makes a long pass to Domi.
Theodore looked good on that last save. Theodore's 919 save percentage in 1999-2000 tied Ev Belfour and Dominic Hasek for the league lead. He was the NHL's third-ranked goalie with five shutouts. Pulling the pace of the game by winning faceoffs is a strong point for the Canadians. Gilmore sends it back to Brisebois. And he takes a wrist shot. He's coming up big to keep them in the hunt. Antropov delivers a crushing check to his victim there. We've got a face-off to the left of Belfort. to Kilger. He relays it to Soray. Knocked away by the blocker. He lets the slap shot go. Nice save. Belfour. Blocker save. He takes the slap shot. McCauley passes it off over to Hoagland. Brings it past the red line. He slides it over to Lume. Kilger passes it over to Dackel. Takes it past the blue line. Save keeps them down only one goal. Zednik moves it back over to Petron. He makes the save. McCauley takes it past the red line. Travers brings the puck through the zone. We're going to see a roughing penalty on Green. And we got a power play coming up here, Bill. Oh, I'm sure that wasn't in the coach's game plan. are one of the little details that is done very well by the Canadians. Toronto penalty to slides it to Petra. Travis Green, two minutes. Four roughing. Zednik sends it up to the center. Koivu sends it back seconds. over Sure. Mo Gilney passes it over to Svela. Sure plays it up to the center. Great save! He's taken up where he left off last period. And he takes a wrist shot. With saves like that, you hardly notice they are a man down. He sends it off to Koivu. Brings the puck up. Carries it past the red line. Belfort sends it in front to Berg. Oh, and he blocks the shot. Perot makes a long pass to Audette. Penalty over. Takes the puck up. He plays it up to the center. And he takes a wrist shot. And that one hit the post.
Whether it's in the offensive or defensive zone, winning important faceoffs is a specialty for the Canadians. He gets knocked off the puck with a check by Dummy. Kilger passes. It floats past the goalie for the goal. The go tackle uh, provided they're in his favor, eh, Bill? Tackle came down, or there just wasn't enough defense to prevent some kind of play. You know, he took advantage of the goalie being out of position and popped her in. Oh yeah, baby, they're dancing in the streets and on the ice. Now this area of the game is a big advantage for the Canadians. Montreal Gilbert goal brings it over the red line. 24, Andreas Daco. He makes a centering pass. Knocked out in front Assist with the blocker. 25. Takes the shot. Yeah. He was wrong. Yeah. Ball makes the block. To number 54, the Canadians are a veteran team with loads of experience. Time that should help them out tonight. Minutes, 49 seconds. Moves it back. Over to McKay. Well, some teams will beat themselves if you wait long enough, but not the Canadians. The Canadians are good at avoiding the box. They'd rather spend their time out in the ice. Winning faceoffs is a strong point for the Canadians. Domi sends it up to the center. Reichel carries it over the red line. McKay passes it to the right wing. Domi plays it up to the center. Reichel sends it over to the right wing. Hey, Mike, take us through the replay. The puck ricochets off the post. To the right of Theodore. Green passes over to Corson. Tchaikovsky moves it over to Bullis. Brings it past the red line.
Berg passes it to the right wing. Tucker makes a long pass to Corson. Vicious check by Kintom. Tucker sends it back to Green. Save by Theodore. Bullis takes the puck up to the zone. They get caught offside. Mike, I'm impressed by the defensive single-mindedness shot by Berg. Berg has great checking abilities. His checks can easily change the momentum of a game. Controlling the pace of the game by winning faceoffs is a strong point for the Canadians. Gilmore sends it over to Kilger. Dackel takes it past the red line. Antropov sends it to his defenseman. Domi moves it back over to Belak. One minute, one minute remaining. Sends it back to the defenseman. Dackel sends it off to Kilger. Carries it over the blue line. Domi sends it back to the defenseman. Dackel sends it back to Surrey. Carries it past the red line. Dackel passes to the defenseman. One period remaining. It's a lead for the Montreal Canadiens. Two to zero. Mike, give us some things to look for as we enter the last period. The Maple Leafs haven't converted their power play scoring chances, Bill. They need to do that if they want to win. Sends it to his defenseman. Svela makes a long pass to Roberts. He passes it off over to Mogilney. He lets the slap shot go. He gave up his body to make that save. Svela sends it over to the right wing. Caberle passes to the defenseman. Mogilny brings it over the red line. Petrov sends it up to the center. Koivu carries it over the red line. McKay sends it up to Renberg. Brings it past the red line. Moves it back to McCauley. The Toronto Maple Leafs are behind right now, but in general are poised to take the next step. What's your take, Mike? The Leafs have the potential to win it all. They just need for things to start coming together for them. Face-offs are one of the little details that is done very well by the Canadians. Perot sends it to Kintal. Travers passes it to McKay. Carries it past the blue line. He plays it back to Perot. That's tough. Keeps this game within reach. Renberg brings the puck up through the zone. Hoagland takes it past the red line. McCauley passes it to the right wing. 
He passes it off over to Renberg. He made a great save. He takes the backhand shot. Save. Theodore has been playing great all game, making save after save. Bila sends it over to the right wing. He passes it over to McCauley. And he takes a wrist shot. He is looking for the win with goaltending like that. Kelger carries it past the red line. Rive passes it off over to Dackel. He passes it up the center. Gilmore passes it to the right wing. Corson passes it to Tucker. Carries it over the red line. Brings it over the blue line. And he takes the step shot. He passes it to the right wing. Corson sends it into the corner. Oh, ho, ho. Theodore has shut down their offense all night long. Markov sends it to the left wing. Kelger brings the puck through the zone. Theodore has a quick glove hand. He's very hard to beat. Theodore is using all his weapons to turn aside shots, including his stick. Whether it's in the offensive or defensive zone, winning important faceoffs is a specialty for the Canadians. Sure sends it over to the right wing. Berg moves it back to McCabe. Brings it over the red line. Brisebois slides it to Bullets. Brings it past the red line. Takes it past the blue line. Mogilny sends it back over to Berg. Sure passes it over to Bullets. Passes it across to Tchaikovsky. Brings it past the blue line. Centers it to Bullets. Stop. Belfort. Blocker save. Juno passes it over to the left wing. He sends the puck back over to Quintal. That was a great stop by Belfort. Good thing he's wearing a helmet because it looks like he hurt his head. Sundin passes it to the right wing. Mogilny centers it over to Roberts. Zednik brings the puck up. Carries it over the blue line. Check hard by Sundin. Takes the puck up. Takes it past the red line. Rive passes over to Petrov. Takes the puck up through the zone. Zednik carries it past the red line. Belfort passes over to Green. Tucker brings the puck up through the zone. Carries it past the blue line. He takes a snapshot, and he takes a wrist shot. Oh, and it goes off the post. He covers the puck. The replay should give us a better look. The puck bounces off the post and harmlessly away. Moves it back over to Brisebois. Audette carries it over the red line.
Svela moves it to Mogilny. Roberts brings it past the red line. And he takes a wrist shot. Let's face it, the Canadians have a great history. Montreal knows good hockey. They hope to bring another cup home for their fans. We're going to have a face-off to the right of Theodore. Koivu sends it to Petrov. Brings the puck to the zone. Brings it over the red line. Zednik brings it over the blue line. He lets the backhand shot go. Save! Koivu sends it to the left wing. And he takes a wrist shot. Save by Belfour. Tonight there's been some good, solid defense by Renberg. Renberg loves to play aggressive. His teammates love having someone around to take the body. Now this area of the game is a big advantage for the Canadians. Cumberland sends it off over to Sundin. Mo Gilney brings it past the blue line. He passes it back to Svela. Passes it to the right wing. He's got no problem making the save. Cumberland takes it past the red line. Brisebois passes it over to the left wing. We're going to see a hooking penalty call. And it looks like they're going to get a power play opportunity off of this one, Bill. You know, in that last play, Bill, I think he got a little bit overzealous. To number 43, Patrice Brisbois. Two minutes for hooking. Time of the penalty, 11 minutes. Lume sends it over seconds. to the right wing. Renberg carries it past the red line. Takes it past the blue line. Quick pass to McCauley. McKay passes it to the right wing. Renberg brings it past the red line. Lume sends it over to the right wing. He passes it over to Corson. He passes it to Renberg. Belfort sends it back to the defenseman. The penalty has now expired. Markov sends it up to Brisebois. Canadians play a fast style of hockey. I hope they can keep up.
Gilney brings the puck up. Coverlay plays it up to the play is broken up by Koivu. He sends it across the ice over to Petron. Brisebois sends it over to Audette. Perot sends it to his defenseman. Sure sends it to the left wing. Offsides is called. The Canadians may not be the quickest team out there, but they're definitely one of the most experienced. Over to McKay. Over to the right wing. Tonight's game shows you that you won't see many costly carries from a team like the Canadians. The Canadians are a disciplined team. This should be a great game. Winning faceoffs is a strong point for the Canadians. Juno breaks up the play. And he takes a wrist shot. Denied. Theodore has been playing great all game, making save after save. Michael just gets blocked by Theodore. Controlling the pace of the game by winning faceoffs is a strong point for the Canadians. Sends it back to Reve, and he takes a wrist shot. Amazing! Theodore has shut down their offense all night long. Reichel can't believe he didn't score there. What a great save. hit by Carson. Lume moves it back to Bilak. Passes it to Green. Passes to Carson. Rive takes the puck up through the zone. Lume passes it over to Tucker. Zednik passes it off to Petrov. Passes over to the left wing. Hey. 
Green sends it back to Lume. Petrov moves it back over to Travers. He slides it over to Zednik. Vila sends it back over to Lume. Fans Hooking is the call. And that will get them an extra attacker. Oh, now that was a really bad time to take a penalty. Well, what is a good time for a penalty, Mike? Koifu can grumble all he wants, but he's still going to the box. Montreal penalty to number 11, Saku Koivu. Two minutes for hooking. Time Svela penalty, makes a long pass minutes, over to Mogilny. Seconds. Roberts carries it past the blue line. Sent back over to Svela. One minute. One minute remaining in the third period. He sends it to Mogilny. Carries it over the red line. Sure moves it back to Kintam. Kaberle passes it to Roberts. He passes it to the right wing. Mogilny brings it over the red line. The Montreal Canadiens prevail 2-0. The Canadians have climbed into second place in the Northeast Division. For Mike Weiss, I'm Bill Peterson. Good night from the Bell Center. And now, for the three stars of the game. The number three star, Andreas Dackel. The number two star, Saku Koivu. The number one star, Jose Theodore.